Welcome back to another TK Breezy video. I just came back from Rise and Grind this weekend, and it was a good time. Uh, but we got a bunch of stuff to talk about. But uh, before we get in that, yeah, we'll just talk about Rise and Grind real quick. If you didn't watch Rise and Grind, I actually had more tournaments this time around. It wasn't just a, a ultimate tournament. Um, at an ultimate at Melee. It had Street Fighter, and I think there was another game there, but I think it just escaped me. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat was there, too. Melee was won by Salt, so big shouts to that. We we are big fans of Salt here, uh, so like, excited to see uh, see them win. Ultimate was won by Mia, uh, which was interesting because I feel like there was really some good uh, storylines there in that top eight, too. I know that Lima was playing out of control for a bit. You know, we had Mutes there. Uh, MKLeo didn't even touch top eight. I don't even think he touched... I think he was. I think he got 13th, bro. Like he wasn't. He wasn't farming at all. We had a lot of a uh, lot of underperformance there uh, at Rise and Grind, but it definitely led to a very interesting 17th. Sheesh. Uh, but yeah. Um, so that was the results. As far as like my experience, I just went on the. I went on Saturday because I picked up Vicky from the airport on Saturday, and then because she just flew into Austin instead of flying into Dallas, so I picked her from the airport, and then we drove up there. It's like a two-hour drive. You know what I mean? Nothing crazy. Um, and then uh, I went on Saturday, I hung out. I meant mostly to hang out. Like, you know, there's a couple people that I wanted to see, you know, Big Shots of Fabs, uh, he was there. Uh, Lyric was there, Momo was there, uh, Joy, um, Nerf. Just like a bunch of my friends and whatnot, I, I went to go hang out with them. So it ended up just being two days of me like kind of chilling out and partying and whatnot. Um, you know, we went to this karaoke spot called True Love twice. Uh, that was lit. I dropped Redbone on them. They wasn't ready. You know, I was hitting the high notes. They was like, sheesh. I didn't know, I didn't know he had pipes like that. Yeah. 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 I'll be doing that. Anyway. Uh, so as far as the good of that tournament, uh, the layout of the event is great. There's actually a super huge friendly room that I didn't even find until the last day. Um, so if you want to play friendlies all day, there's that. Um, it does feel like there's a lot of space. So for most people, I think Waco is kind of hard to get to. The Waco airport is super small. So you either fly to DFW um, and then you take an hour and 30 minute Uber or get picked up or you fly to Austin and take a two hour Uber or get picked up. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of an inopportune spot, but it is a cool area when you, when you do get there. Um, the security was bonkers and that was, that's not even a complaint. Like, I mean, they were, they were really on their shit. Uh, big shots to Emma Ray for the, uh, security there i just saw some people complaining about it but i was like you know what i'd rather have a complaint of security being too good and then security not giving a shit at all because that's usually the complaint the complaint that we get more often than not is that yeah man i had like six bags on me buddy didn't even look at them you know what i'm saying so instead man yeah they was they was going through some bags you had to, you couldn't leave the venue uh without them seeing your badge you couldn't be in the venue really that much without them seeing your badge which you know that was that was a little that was a little heavy-handed but at the same time hey man the security's doing their damn job so uh they definitely very very thoroughly searched bags yeah no nah, it was a uh, the, the security in that event definitely went crazy uh in a good way uh in a good way i'm not i'm not upset that they were doing their job i'm actually happy that they're doing their job i know a lot of people were wondering like why i didn't commentate but we you know we had chopped it up both uh everybody respectfully i mean like just there was a lot of miscommunication through all three groups between me, MRA, and uh, CAG. So I'm just going to track it up to miscommunication and keep it moving, man. It, it is what it is. Uh, I don't have to commentate every event. I know that the only reason I think this one's super weird is because, yeah, I do live 90 minutes away. And people are probably like, when I showed up, they're like, yo, like, what you doing here? And I was like, I'm just vibing, bro. Sometimes I just, sometimes I just come to vibe, you know what I mean? And uh, the vibes are good. Uh, me, I called everyone free or called, called the U.S. free. And he has every right to say so right now because he farmed so uh you know i'm not gonna be like wow i can't believe he said that because real shit <laughs> he beat my ass in, in, in this game so yeah i mean like i ain't gonna say you know i ain't gonna say that he didn't farm uh overall rising ground success i don't have any like qualms with the event uh just wish more people would like you know go all right our next subject so uh at the tekken uh, at, at a large tech tournament, I actually can't remember the name of this one. I think EGX. Uh, in the middle of winter's finals, these activist morons jumped on stage and spread paint all over the monitors and venue. Uh, and there's a video actually for it. Let me go ahead and find the video real quick. Let me go find the video real quick. What's going on? 
I like the fact that the Yoshimitsu was still, he was still playing for a little bit, bro. He saw the, the back dash, bro. He was like, oh, look, I'm stepping back. What's going on? Now I'll be real with you. If any of that shit happened, like any of that paint got on me, because y'all want to, you know, be doing shit like this, we're scrapping. We're, we're literally scrapping. Like, I, what the fuck? Fuck going on here, bro? Uh, so yeah, so that happened. Uh, now unfortunately, you know, the aftermath of that is whoever was running this event, whoever's equipment this is, is probably ruined. Um, that's absolute bullshit, and uh, I feel bad for anybody who has to deal with the aftermath of this um you know most of, i don't know if you know if for anybody who doesn't know how tournaments gone normally you rent out these uh equipments like and setups and whatnot you know one of the biggest conglomerates for that is game and gen i don't think this is game and gen stuff but game and gen is one of the bigger conglomerates for that i know you also have repop uh who does a lot of things too um with giving you equipment to to run your tournaments right back in the day for smash we used to have to bring our own crts or you know aces monitors and whatnot but now we have uh, you know, tournament companies who do now bring up the equipment for us. You have equipment companies that bring that stuff for us. So uh, that means and unless they can fully salvage this and get the paint off, this is a ruined monitor. Uh, and yeah, that fucking sucks. You know what I mean? That's fucking ass. You know, monitors cost a lot, bro. Uh, also, yeah, a lot of people are asking, why Tekken? Like, why, why do we pick this event of all events? Like, it wasn't even that big of an event. I think it had like 900 people watching. So it wasn't even like a crazy event. To jump into anyway and uh we just kind of kind of gotta 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 hold that shit bro it, it wasn't it's not a cool thing either to, to see because i feel like that is actually probably a good message that they're spreading but i also told i was also told uh that the just stop oil is founded by oil companies i gotta find the tweet for that too because it said it's some people said that it's basically a psyop from the oil companies to make protesters look bad and people to not like protesters so, ah, here we go. So, just so you know, Just Stop Oil is financed by oil companies. It's a psyop to make activists look bad by purposely putting them, uh, putting them in self-disrespecting situations and wreaking havoc. This is the oil company's fault. Don't fall for such an obvious scam. So, that was one of the people said that. I also saw, I saw a couple more uh, quote tweets that said that too and also had some like wiki points to it. But uh, yeah, so that happened. Uh, and I feel bad for the people whose monitors got ruined because those shits are super expensive. And uh, the other part is, I think they could have just picked, you could have protested literally anywhere. And I saw another quote tweet that was like, that's the thing about protesting is that not, uh, important things don't have to stop. Everything has to stop. And I was like, whilst I get what you're trying to say, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> what, what did Tekken do to you, bro? Someone, someone Korean backdashed on you that hard that she was like, I got to go over there and ruin this fucking tournament. The daughter of an oil lord is the owner of the org. Yeah, see, that's not really, that's not really hitting. That's not really hitting for me unless she's like doing it to get back at her dad. Like, <laughs> someone in the comments is gonna be mad about this comment because they always say I be making race jokes even though EE does it way more. But trying to get back at their dad, like when you date a black dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, I feel I, I see I see what she's trying to get at, but we could have done this better ways. We could have done this better ways, bro. It's not funny for when white people do it because half the time they're not jokes, bro. Y'all call some of the hard R and be like, I was joking. I was joking. <laughs> Speaking of not a bit, uh, we're going to move to our next topic. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. This shit stain of a person is still making, uh, still making his way back. Look, Melee is not that good. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be real with you right now. Melee is not that good. To where you need to center your whole life around this, like, this type of rhetoric. This man got banned because he's a shithead. Uh, he then tried to apologize, right? But it wasn't a real fucking apology, right? 
we then like we're like hey bro like we know that's not real and now he's just been on this very big tirade of being like melee gay lay and it's not about the game anymore and all that other good shit so no fluxes uh which name i normally don't like to say but i'm gonna say it now anyway this fucking dumbass so he's got the make melee great again hat right uh he says melee was great and then the woke mob whenever you hear that that's when you know they're already on the wrong side uh melee was great and then the woke mob turned it into gay lay <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a fucking bar. I'm gonna get. I saw somebody say, unironically, if you put Gayle on a black hat in a rainbow uh, font, I would buy it. And I was like, to be honest, <laughs> I would do the exact same. I don't even wear hats like that, but I 100% would buy that fucking hat, dog. <laughs> oh, it said Super Smash They Them Gayle's <laughs> for the Nintendo GameCube system. I saw that shit. I was like, all right, y'all niggas are <laughs> y'all niggas are tripping, bro. But anyway, turn it into gay gay lay, and it's no longer about the game. It's about gender now and getting approval for giving up on being a man. Okay. They wanted to make uh, they wanted me to sell my soul and just say I did something uh, racist and look sorry for one black guy that I got offended by looking in the mirror. Order this and wear it to the venues. TOs ain't shit, except G juggle guy. To which one of the quote retweets for this was, man, I, I would hate to be Juggle Guy getting an endorsement like this. <laughs> he said he, he caught a stray off of an endorsement. I was like, yeah, that's facts. This man has not, is, he's he's not going to ever get back into the community. He has been one of those people that's been like trying to make ban people tournaments to get rises. More often than not, he's just getting dunked on, uh, on, on Twitter and then telling people to go fuck themselves and then saying more racist shit uh, as per usual. Oh, yep, here we go. The sheep leftists need to get through their heads. Uh, is that what I did? Uh, is that when I did do the apology, they treated me like garbage anyway. Guess fighting back is the same as Why would I stop? Do the ban already. Plus, these TOs aren't cops, by the way. Y'all cry about real cops, though. That's what they said. Uh, he also hates BLM. You know, uh, we've got several videos of him talking about that and how BLM sucks. All this just is in a way of me saying, come on, bro. Ah, here we go. This is a good video. BLM ain't shit. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> anyway so yeah uh i just i there's nothing really to add to the story except for this guy's fucking lame and i think uh those hats i uh, unironically unironically if somebody else made that hat that shit will be fucking funny but because he made the hat and tr truly believes in this shit right truly believes in this shit can't do it. Yeah, that fucking sucked. That guy's never gonna make it back in the first place and will continue to get dunked on. All right, last thing last, the registration fee for Genesis. Now people are flipping their shit, right? Cause Genesis is expensive this year. Now, if you realize the Genesis is one of the biggest, if not the biggest tournament usually of the year for uh, Smash. And so like, I don't think 125 is a, a crazy amount, especially when you go to other events. You know, I'm going to fucking TwitchCon, let me tell you. The money I pay to go to TwitchCon is up there, okay? Like, it's, you know, I, I'm, I'm putting a little money in on the TwitchCon. So, and a lot of other people have really kept this uh this same thought process. HBox here says, it's more expensive than last year, but as a result, you get 24-hour venue. The Civic Center Top 8, the best stage of the entire year, IMO. Uh, much larger tourney view, uh, venue. Third day of friendlies. Uh, if you did not know, normally the the friend the hall is closed. So for Genesis, you pay for day one and day two, and then on day three, uh, the hall is usually closed, and you watch it at the theater if you bought finals day tickets, or you uh, don't watch it at the theater. You just like watch it at, like Guildhouse or something, right? Among other perks, though, I do get it for one tournament. Uh, for one tournament, I do get it. Like right, like 125. Okay, for sure, it's a lot, and it's more than last year. But for the people that are like acting, like Genesis just arbitrarily uh, decided to just raise the venue fee for no reason. Uh, and they're like, you know, making tweets. Like, this is the part of the rhetoric that Smashers don't understand money. We are in a fucking recession, bro. It is already, uh, most TOs are running at loss already as is. And that's, and that's why you kind of see so many tournaments really shutting down and whatnot. Uh, but to ask for an extra 25 in this current economy is not as crazy as y'all make it seem, bro. Like, I, it's, it's, it's really, it's really not. Wisely says Genesis should charge more even, uh, to be honest. And here's the registration prices. Uh, 
you know, for other Smash tournaments. So G9 it was $100. The Big House 10 is $75. Now, I understand the Big House 10 is usually also another big tournament, but Big House 10 this year is not looking that good. I'm be honest with you. It doesn't look that good. Uh, Riptide, Shine, $75. Uh, Shine sucked. Now, honestly, Shine should have been free. You know, like, if <laughs> we're going to be... If we're gonna be, if we're gonna be truthful, uh, other general gaming combo breakers, one hundred dollars. Evo, one hundred and seventy. With top eight arena, CS:GO majors are one twenty. RS uh, uh, Rocket League shit, one hundred eight to one hundred thirty. Magfest, one thirty five. TwitchCon, one hundred twenty nine a day. Pax four day is two hundred forty seven dollars. Right. So one twenty five in comparison to all these, and knowing how I feel about that tournament and last year's tournament, and then uh, the other tournaments that are charging and everything else that I've been to, one twenty five is 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 more than fair. You know what I mean? It's it's NorCal, it's Cali, it's NorCal. You'll most likely see most, if not all, your friends there because that's usually the tournament that most people go to. It's a 24-hour venue, so you can go there and play friendlies whenever and get wild, or you know, always have somewhere to hang out. That's what we did at Riptide. Riptide, we literally just went back to the venue at at, at like at like three and drank and just and vibed. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna agree with the people that are saying that like this is too much in the people. Or being greedy. I will agree with the people that are like, damn, I don't know if I can afford it. Because, again, economically, right now, whoo, shit sucks, right? But we're not, I'm not going to throw this blame at um, at the TOs and think that, like, Bobak sat down and was like, you know what I want? <laughs> An extra $25 from these niggas for no exact reason. I just want $25 more. dollars. Nothing changes. You know what I mean? I just want $25 more. dollars. Give me your money now like he didn't sit there and do that it all makes sense why there's a little bit bit more when you break it all down okay like this is not deterring me from going to this tournament at all bro you know you know this is not going to deter me to go into one of the best events in the if not the best event usually of the year every time does not deter me at all and i will be there and i'm gonna pay my 125 or just get hired one or the other uh, but if I wasn't, even if I didn't get hired for Genesis for some reason, I would still be there. That's just one of my favorite tournaments. I mean, I go to tournaments all the time now just to kind of like, if if I didn't get hired, but I want to hang out with people, I'm going. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, man, I don't know. Like Smash Community, once again, you broke niggas to stay broke, but uh, I'm going to pay my money. The dues where the dues be, right? Thankless jobs, tier lists, production, TOs, large gap, commentators. Well, actually probably volunteers but between that. And then large gap again commentators and then large 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 gap appreciated people or top players that's it so anyway that's gonna be it from this video thank you guys for watching another topic talk this will be on youtube if you have not already came over to the uh tk breezy stream make sure you do that at twitch.tv that's tk breezy drop yourself a like a follow a subscribe any other like cool stuff that you can do would very much appreciate it uh i'm actually about to shoot another video too i gotta do a live stream fail compilation and maybe even another video after that so uh yeah we do all kind of cool stuff here appreciate you guys for coming uh if you got to the end of the what the if you got to the end of the video thanks i'll catch you on the next one peace